Hey guys, so since we're going through a heat wave at the moment here in Ireland, finally, I thought it would be a good time to do a video on sunscreen because it's really, really important. Um, it's pretty much important all year round, but it's really, really important, particularly when we are enjoying the warmer weather and it's something that I will not leave the house without particularly on my face um, sometimes you know I'll allow the rest of my body kind of breathe a little bit just to get that vitamin D but my face is always covered so I will allow myself get a little bit of a tan if it happens naturally like with some block on but my face I'm not going to let darken and I'm already getting like freckles back and what you call it pigmentation back and stuff so there's not much really much you can do about it even if you are wearing some loads of sunblock but you can try your best definitely so the ones that I've been using on my face lately there's a few of them the sultan face are great I got these in boots the reason I love these is because they're moisturizing so you don't have to use a moisturizer with them they're moisturizing sunblocks if you know what I mean so I have the normal sultan face this is the SBF of 30 now what most people think is that you the SPF 30 means that you can go 30 minutes without getting sunburnt and that the SPF of 50 means that you'll go 15 minutes without being sunburnt which is not true I did actually a pretty in-depth blog post on this like a couple of years ago so I'll link to that below basically the 30 SPF protects you um like not, protects you from 90 something percent of the rays and then the 50 SPF only protects you from like two percent extra of the rays so I can't remember offhand because I haven't read my blog post in ages but if you read that it'll give you all the information on that but so basically I'm quite comfortable with the 30 sunblock I do have 50s and I do use them but the 30 I think is pretty good as long as you're very um good at reapplying because often people don't apply enough and they don't reapply often enough and by not doing that then you're not getting the full block you're not getting the full um protection and it's important to get the UVA and the UVB because you know you need to be protected from the damage from wrinkles and stuff like that as well as the damage from burning your skin anyhow so this is the sultan face this is great for when i'm not really wearing makeup because you do need to reapply this every hour or two yeah i'll usually use this when i have a bare face and it is moisturizing so keep in mind that it might give you a bit of a glow which i don't mind when it's sunny i mean that's not something i'm going to be worried about and then the sultan once face this is brilliant because you only have to apply it once every eight hours this is a water resistant one it also has the spf of 30 and it's brilliant obviously from your makeup because you don't need to reapply you have the full eight hours and i honestly wouldn't wear my makeup for longer than eight hours on a really hot day anyhow because it just melts off so um this is brilliant for under makeup then again that'll give a bit of a glow though so maybe not the best for anyone who's extremely oily for anyone who is very oily for their face this these ones are brilliant i have the vichy um high protection spf 50 i did have the 30 of this which i used up so i have the 50 left over which is grand like i said there's not much of a difference this is a mattifying face fluid dry touch and it's for a combination to oily skin i do think you can get one for dry skin but this one is particularly good because I think people with oily skins maybe do struggle a little bit with finding sunblocks that aren't going to make them look like a total oil slick because traditionally that's what I, sunblocks did. This one is brilliant. It does mattify. Um, if you are maybe a little bit drier but you tend to get a little bit oily sometimes, what, like say in the T-zone, I would say maybe go with a serum underneath. But otherwise, if you're kind of combination oily or normal oily, you can probably get away with this by itself as your moisturiser and this is fantastic for under makeup as well because it does stop that shine and it does help kind of keep your face matte another similar one which is brilliant this is the rock soleil protection velvet moisture so this will provide moisture to the face but it's also mattifying this is brilliant again for underneath makeup but because you still want to try like unless it says it's particularly long lasting you do have to keep in mind that it will degrade after a few hours particularly in the sun so what I would advise doing is going over your sunblock if it's something that you can't reapply you know throughout the day with makeup go over with a mineral sunblock so a mineral powder that has a high enough sunblock in it so at least 25 to 30 I love the um well the Vichy Aeroton Pure mineral one which was discontinued I've heard recently that it is going to be replaced so that would be great and that's something you can top up throughout the day because you are topping up a uh, uh, sunblock, which is great. Or the Toleran um, Taunt Mineral by La Roche-Posay. This is an SPF of 25. Again, this is something you can top up throughout the day. So you are still getting your sunblock from that. Now, for someone like me who would be concerned about, you know, 
pigmentation stuff like that around my eyes what I think is brilliant for that is something like this this is the La Roche Posay very high protection stick this is the Anthelus XS UVA UVB stick and this is brilliant you can use it on your lips or anywhere like you know surfers would use something similar down their nose I would use something like this down my nose if I'm going to be out for long as well because I get just freckles there I have a couple of dark ones coming back and I just can't do anything about and it I think it's great as well for around the eye area Obviously your skin there is really, really thin, so this is going to protect it from the sun damage that could do more damage there than to the other places of the skin. So I will literally pop it on all over, like where I would put an eye cream. And it's fine, it works grand as a makeup base as well, so that's absolutely brilliant. Another similar one that I just got for holidays is this Ultra Resistance Sun Stick for lip and face. This will work pretty much in the exact same way as that one, and it's an SPF of 30. It's from Sultan again, so it's like those other two brands versus from that same brand from the first two and you use it in the same way so put it anywhere where you're a bit more delicate so down the center of the nose around the eye area on the lips brilliant and this one is water resistant so they're the kind of things to look out particularly for anyone who's very pale for anyone who's a little bit sun sensitive for kids that kind of stuff and then obviously you need to think about your lips as well i have this soleil protection by rock which is an spf of 30 for the lips and again it's the uva uvb so always try and make sure your sun protection has both the uva and the uvb symbols on it because the UVB I think it's the UVB that, that causes the burning but the UVA is the one so the burning and the skin cancer I think and then the UVA I get a bit confused but basically you need you have to worry about like your skin burning which can cause you know skin cancer and stuff like that as well as the photo aging um, it's all written in my blog post I think but one does one and one does the other and you have to protect against both basically so you need to make sure that your sunblock has both of them uh, covered and this is brilliant for your lip area particularly if you're like me I tend to get pigmentation around my con the contours of my lip a lot and this will help stop that. Another really good sunblock I have and this is again for anyone who is particularly sun sensitive this is a high very high protection SPF 50 sunblock again by La Roche Posay and it's their anti Anthelos, Anthelios, I think, Anthelios XL, and it is for someone who has sun allergies, and it is reduced content of chemical fillers, very water resistant. This is just brilliant, again, for children or for anyone who is very, very pale or very, very sun sensitive. So even someone who maybe doesn't have pigment naturally in their skin. Um, yeah, so this is brilliant, and that would be another one I'd highly recommend. Uh, I do have a lot at the moment because I tend to stock up at the start of the summer and have that do me for the rest of the year. So a lot of these will have maybe a 12, let's say this one has a 12 month use by date. Some of them have 18 months and some of them can do up to two years but always check on the back because it just means that the sunblock ingredients will have degraded and you're not going to get the protection out of it so it is important to keep an eye on those use by dates. Then for body um, I have a few here for that I have been using. This is one my mom actually gave me and I tend to use a little bit higher than this. So this is some, for someone maybe who has a deeper skin tone. So someone who has more melanin in their skin or has a deeper you know, shade of their skin. They would naturally have a little bit more protection against the skin than someone like myself who is very, very, very pale. So you could get away with this, which is the... Uh, like an SPF of 20 this would be a medium kind of protection and this is a cream so it's the kind of one where you, you know you will be a bit sticky make like the sand stick to you so it's better maybe if you're kind of on the move and they tend to be a little bit less expensive so that's why they're kind of good not my favorite in the world it is definitely tends to be more affordable than the other ones so that's one you can keep in mind then the ones that I've been loving lately would be something okay first like this this is another Sultan product and this is the invisible dry touch transparent sun care spray this is water resistant it has UVA UVB protection and it's a 30 SPF so this one um, is really good because it doesn't leave you greasy perfect for when you are on the beach or on the sand it's a spray so you can spritz anywhere which means that you know anywhere that's a little bit harder to get it'll spray there for you and also it doesn't leave you with that kind of glossy glowy finish also with these sprays as long as it doesn't say not to use on the face you can actually spray this over your face and you can even spray it over your makeup as long as it doesn't like totally break it down but it's worth trying out some of them work better than others i think more of the misty ones work a little bit better than maybe these kind of oily ones but it is something brilliant to have and that's that guy okay so two other ones which are 
really handy because they're not that expensive. They're from um, Lacora Sun Care. So Lacora is the Aldi skincare brand and it's actually really, really good considering the price point. It's a German skincare brand, I believe. And they have these two guys here. Now, both of them are the SPF of 30. Um, a high UV, a UVB rating and it really wasn't that expensive. I can't remember what it was, but my mum picked me up one and I picked up another and um, you know, they're brilliant ones to get if you can get your hands on them. This one here, which is more of like a sun, like a spritz when it comes out, is in the 150ml bottle and even though both of them are for um, the SPF 30, this one here is for skin that's not acclimatised to the sun. So maybe at the start of your holiday if you haven't had much sun exposure yet and your skin is really going to be sensitive initially to the sun. Whereas this guy, which again is still the SPF of 30, but this one is for sun that, for skin that is acclimatised. Yeah, that is acclimatised to the sun. So maybe start off with this one and then move on to this one. I still remain at 30. I know some people, once they start to get a bit of a tan, they go down to the 20 and down to the 15. I'm just so concerned about like I mean, to put it blatantly, about cancer and damage and stuff like that, that I will still keep it up at the 30. And um, I still get a little bit of colour when I'm out in the sun constantly with the 30 on. So, I mean, it goes to show you still get some of that damage through it. But anyhow, um, this particular one here is water resistant. Both of them are water resistant. Um, this one is anti-aging with vitamin E. This one has vitamin E in it as well. So I think the main difference really is that this is for skin that's not as used to the sun and this is just for um, saying that skin that has a bit more sun. Great options though, especially if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg. Because this one here, I got this in half price from Dunn's. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I have a load of them, because anytime I see anything on special offer, I'll grab it. But at half price, it was still like 15 quid. It costs a bomb, but it's brilliant. It is a, an invisible cooling mist. Now, this is only the SPF of 20, but it has the UVA, UVB. It's water resistant, and it has a really, really fine mist. So you can mist it lightly everywhere, and um, it doesn't make you sticky. So it's brilliant for the beach, and I think that's brilliant. Um, particularly for the evenings, maybe, when you're going into when it's like still quite sunny but it's not as like direct like crazy crazy sun heat that you get particularly around midday and going on into the afternoon so um this is the only time when i really will go down in the spf maybe when it is kind of later on in the day and it's not quite such a strong sun but um it's a really really handy one to have i um, love these ones i love the misting ones i just don't like to spend an arm and a leg on them so that's why if you can get the cheaper ones do as long as it's still a repu reputable bat brand though um don't go into like the two euro store and get one try and get something that you still know is pretty decent and um only get this if it's on sale because um, you will go through these quite quickly believe it or not one of these kind of size um like proper bottles is only going to do something like four or five full applications on a body people don't apply sunscreen as much as they should and that's why people still get burnt throughout the day when they say oh no i had sunscreen on it's because you're not reapplying you sweat off especially in the really really hot weather of course you're going to sweat it off even the water resistant ones they'll still sweat off after a while obviously after every time you go into the sea even if it's with a water resistant one you still need to reapply afterwards if you want to get the proper sun protection from it so um you know spending if you were to buy this a full pack of 30 euro you would go through it fairly quickly so just keep that in mind and you know apply enough more rather than less if you're unsure particularly on kids and um apply as often as possible so they're the ones that i kind of have and use at the moment and i know you might think that i'm a bit bonkers with all my sunscreen but i honestly can't reiterate how important i think it is to keep care of your skin particularly in ireland like the sun's skin cancer rate in ireland is horribly high it's one of the highest um skin cancer or cancers in ireland and a lot of people you know will have it for a long time before they even know about it so it's really important to keep an eye on it and um particularly from a country where we're not used to heat so we maybe aren't that used to protecting our skin from it perfectly or properly so yeah that's all i wanted to talk about i'm going to look for that blog post i couldn't find it yesterday but hopefully i'll be able to find it and leave more information below but i hope this was helpful and in the meantime i'll chat to you all really soon so long guys